In this video, I'm going to show you how to load MySQL on your computer. Um, I'm showing you on a Mac. It should work similar on a PC and Linux. Um, so I have a sheet of directions here, which I'll clean up and share with you. But the first step is to go to the um, MySQL site, which again, I'll provide this link in that document. And there's a downloads page. Actually, this is the one you want, the download page. And uh, there should be one for your operating system. Just select here. And uh, for the Mac one, I went with this one, the DMG archive. You download that. I've already done this, but, um, and then you just kind of double click. It steps you through installing the um, MySQL. Um, yes, yeah, so you just you know, double click on the .pkg file um, and it'll install it for you. And during the installation, I get this uh, line here popped up to let me know the default password for the root user, which you'll use to log into MySQL. Um, and I'll show you in a minute how you can change that. Um, so by default, it installs it to this directory, the user slash local slash MySQL. Um, and so if you want to start it, let me show you. I'm going to click on my um, settings. I'm going to bring up settings here and go to MySQL. Oh. And I'm, mine's actually running right now. And to get it running, I actually put this line right here into uh, terminal. Oh, let me bring up another one. And just so you can see it though, I have um, down here the the one that will stop it. Throw that in here. Put that in. Um, this is the password. This is the password to your computer. Right? So it's shut down, so now it says stop. Right? And so if I grab this line, throw that in the terminal, and now we're started. Right? So that's how you can start and stop. You could also use this, although I find this doesn't always, it's not always responsive. So I like using the command prompt. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, and this is where it should be running for you. Um, again, uh, yours might pop up different, but that's where uh, where I got it. It's, um, but so this great, we got, we just gotten, we just got, MySQL to start. And I showed you how to start and stop it, which is all fine and dandy, but you also are going to want to be able to give it commands, right? And to be able to do that, to be able to like create, um, to, to be able to create tables and databases and things like that, you need to set the path to MySQL. And to do that, you're going to want to put this into your terminal window. Um, it's nano.bash file, and the bash file can includes all the system paths, right? And so I'm using the arrow key to move my cursor down here. And so I've already done this, but I'll just show you right here is where we set the path um, to MySQL. And again, that, you know, I said that's by default where it is saved and you want to go right to that bin file, right? And then you just can um, update your, um, you know, the, um, the main path variable. And you can have multiple paths in there. Like I have the, the path variable, I have for my MongoDB database, and then for my MySQL database, right? And so once you do that, you can um, then do um, command or control X to exit out of here, hit save. So I'll, I'll do that right now. Control X. It's me. I didn't change anything, so it didn't ask me to save. And um, so then if you've made a change, though, you're going to want to uh, type this in the terminal. That resets your um, bash profile. That way you can take advantage of the changes, right? And then the last thing you want to do is actually log into MySQL. Um, so this is this will allow you to log in as the root user. And so you're going to ask you for the password. I've already created it. Um, if you didn't already create it, then you're going to, if you didn't already change it, 
you're going to want to use whatever your default password was generated, and then you'll get that when you are um, installing it, right? And so I, I give you this here. This shows you how you can change your um, password. So, so let's say this is the first time you logged in with that default password. Right here, you'd want to um, paste in this line of code, press Enter. It actually usually gives you some kind of error, which is fine. That's part of the process. Then you actually put this in. And obviously, wherever it says new password, your new password, you put in whatever your new password you want it to be, right? And then press enter, and now you can log in with that password in future sessions. And so now, once you get to this point where you have the MySQL prompt, that's where you can um, uh, create databases, do all any SQL commands that you know you can run here. And I, I've already created this database, so I'll show you if I do the, the show database. It should show me. Now there's that one that I created. Um, these are the ones that kind of just come with the system. Um, and so you're up and running with, with uh, MySQL. Now I recommend, um, I download this, uh, the Workbench, which I'll provide that link. You just go here and you download it. The Workbench gives you kind of a, a, a GUI, a, a user interface for um, interfacing with your MySQL. Some people might like this a lot better than using uh, command prompt for everything. Um, let me see. Yeah, so this is it here, and then you could uh, um, click on the local host, and it wants that root user again. And there, and you can see I have, um, there's my cool database. I can create tables in here. I could just put my SQL code right in here and um, inject SQL right that way. Um, so this is just gives you another option for interfacing with the MySQL um, database. So I hope you found this helpful. I'll try to have some future um, tutorials coming up soon. Thanks.